people all morning. We've been talking about Fired Up Friday, and then here on Studio 3, mm -hmm. we've talked about tailgating, but it's not all about football this right. weekend. Also, one of the biggest events of the whole year in Scioto County is happening. River Days, which technically starts tonight in Portsmouth and goes through Sunday. Yeah, concerts, a grand parade, and the marquee event of this festival, the Queen Pageant at Shawnee State, that is on Saturday night. So we're going to get you ready for it. Tony Cavalier taking to last week's kind of icebreaker known as Super Sunday. There's a tradition in Portsmouth that revolves around a dozen smart and driven young ladies. It's part of the River Days celebration, which begins tonight. Last spring, all 12 high schools nominated a Miss contestant for the coveted River Days crown. On Super Sunday a week ago, these exceptional women worked on the opening number for this Saturday night's pageant. A lot of musical razzmatazz to entertain an expected sold-out crowd at the Shawnee Waller Gym. It's part of a hectic Saturday that starts with a parade. Reigning Queen Michael Cron knows it well. But then Saturday morning is definitely very hectic. You're waking up early, 5 a.m., getting ready for the parade, going straight to the parade, coming back for interview, and then straight here. So it's a, definitely a very busy week. In between numbers, we had a chance to talk to the ladies on their passions, their goals, and their platforms during this whirlwind summer gone by. After high school, I plan on attending The Ohio State University for four years, and then I plan on attending their veterinary clinic for another four years, so eight years of school to become a vet. I'm passionate about raising awareness for pulmonary fibrosis, a lung disease my mammal Lee had, and I just really wanted to educate people on what that is. At the beautiful downtown Ritz, the pride of the community for these ladies is on display. Here, the premier formal clothier in town makes a statement about the pageant and its contestants. And how neat is it to see your portrait in storefronts and on streetlights in the famous Bony Fiddle section of town? I think that seeing my picture up on the streetlights is such a great representation of the pageant. I've had several of my friends and family members message me and be like, hey, that's you. You're representing your school and you're representing the Portsmouth River Days pageant. Super Sunday also spotlighted the energy and talents of the all-county cheerleading squad. Under the careful direction of Gail Shepard of Wheelersburg, the team is known to bring the crowd to their feet when the pageant begins. Pick them. They know that it's a commitment. They know it's going to be hard. They know that it is a challenge, but everyone has worked so hard all summer. I'm so proud of all of them. This year's parade and cheerleading number is all about 60 years of parades and music through the decades. And in case you didn't know it, they groomed the girls from a young age to represent their school, town, and county. All week long, little miss titles have been on the line from toddlers to preteens. But come Saturday, it's all about this dynamic dozen, all vying for the coveted title, Miss River Days. Tony Cavalier, WSAZ News Channel 3, Portsmouth. Oh, and everybody getting out of work, and then the uh -huh. party begins tonight. They're going to introduce the Miss contestants down on the riverfront. The Kentucky Headhunters are going to oh, perform wow. on stage 9 o'clock tonight, so good show for music. Uh -huh. Saturday, the Grand Parade kicks off at 11 a.m. Oh, it's such a neat parade. Tony says the floats are incredible every year. Then it's on to Shawnee for a night on pins and needles before the new queen is crowned. And Sunday, another performer we yeah. know well here on Studio 3, Holly Forbes will perform at the riverfront up on stage with fireworks then to end the festival. Holly's got the fireworks of the voice and she then the real does. fireworks up in the sky. Yeah, she's amazing. Well, and when we come back, Chef Mike.